my biggest advantage when I started the Alan Spicer channel is I learned immediately niche focus is key. The original channel that, that did quite well was, was Scattershot. Movie reviews, funny rants, uh, food tastings, uh, me being drenched for the AS, ALS Ice Bucket Challenge, <laughs> like funny, weird songs, just random crap, right? And it worked, but it worked by the end of that channel because when I first started, it was weird and random. And by the end, I'd understood, right, if I just make funny news, if I go out and find a specific source, if I record up-to-date trending news of stuff that's happened in the last two to three days and that's in a similar niche, people then come back for that pattern, okay? So in that case, it was relatable funny news. Anything that you find in the metro, anything that you find on, I, I don't know, joe.com or where it happens to be on the internet because I'm old and I don't understand where those things come from these days. <laughs> um, so I was taking that knowledge of understanding that laser focus grows better and then I moved it to the consultancy channel. So what I did is I understood if I can teach YouTube from a position of strength, understanding that I've done web development for four or five years prior, that I understand SEO, I understand search engine optimization, and now I'm YouTube certified. If I can teach those things to people, people then know that I'm a Netflix of answers for that specific field. Continuing to pile on on top of the idea is I'm teaching you a YouTuber YouTube. Okay. Yes, every now and then I'll touch upon how to grow a YouTube channel using Facebook, but the core backbone is growing something in the YouTube field. How to make money from YouTube, how to grow on YouTube, how to push your business via YouTube. And because I had that backbone, I was able to go forward, getting people to know me as the person that answers their question. I then made sure that I lent on the thing that I did very, very well. And that is search. For a very, very long time, I was cranking out three tutorials each and every week that specifically answered questions that people are searching for. How to add end screens, how to title a video, how to do a perfect thumbnail, how to write descriptions, how to do tags, those kind of things. Th things that I would have asked or I've been asked by my my clients over the time, now I can answer it in a video, and then YouTube can find it in the algorithm. People watch till they get their answer. It's a good retention rate. They engage properly. It can then possibly get embedded as a decent search result, or even on Google under specific clips. And then I, I mainly grow through evergreen searched content via either YouTube search or Google, and then I triple down in the long run with my, my blogs as, as I continue to build out this giant spider web. But the core thing is niche, focus, continue to educate in that funnel until we get bigger and bigger at the top. And then you've got a little bit more license to, to experiment just a little bit, step outside, be a little bit more human, a little bit more funny, every now and then put up a video ranting that someone's blown up your laptop, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Something unique outside your funnel because they're there for you at that point.